But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another trick, and that's where I'm going to cut the plate so I have a shorter plate going around. I'll show you a couple of ways you can hold the edge of the plate down uh, when it is a problem. I don't have any room to do anything there. This, this plate virtually comes absolutely together here, so I, don't, I can't do anything there. I'm going to leave it just like that, hope for the best. Okay? And I'm going to be very careful when I wipe my plates not to get any solvent under there, any water, any soap, anything like that. And uh, in some cases, if I'm running a long run and my, my plate starts lifting up and giving me problems, I might either have another plate ready to go, mounted, and then do a quick swatch, swap doing roll changes, or I'll be prepared to lift this up and put a new piece of mounting tape down there so that it has a fresh thing. You know, you, you have to work with these things sometimes. But the key, the greatest key is start off with good adhesion by making sure that you don't have, uh, that your plate edges are, are clean and uh, not oily or anything like that, okay? So now that's uh, putting that plate there. Now let me show you a couple of tricks uh, with uh, a seal, ed edge sealant and then I'm going to show you one with a um, uh, aluminum tape that I think is the super duper when you can use it, when you don't have solvent inks if it's, and uh, um, it's just super. So here we go. Alright, I'm going to remove this tape, this plate. Whenever a plate is shorter than the complete um, wrap around the cylinder or the complete repeat of the cylinder, if you can have this floor here that's I ideal, this is your relief so your floor is narrower than the overall plate thickness and the thinner it is the um, easier it is for it to bend and it doesn't have a, as great a tendency to pop up. So let's talk about that at the board a little bit. Alright, now we're looking at this plate, it's going to wrap around the cylinder this way, okay? You look at a cross section of it. You look at it like this, we have the plate, okay, and then we have the printing surface from here to here, and then this is, the, uh, this thickness right here is the floor. The difference between the floor and the overall plate thickness, this portion right here, that's the relief. If this is an 067 plate. So usually the relief should be somewhere probably between 21 and 19 uh, thousandths, 0 0.019. I think that's the standard that the FTA puts in first flexographic image reproduction specifications and tolerances. So, and, and I like to go by that. I like to go by the book uh, as much as possible and deviate from that as little as possible because it's important for us to standardize in our industry. If we invent anything special, then we need to share it with everybody else. All right. So. So what we're going to do now, we're going to focus on this little edge right here. Let's say we didn't have this. If this were just thick like that, it definitely want to pop up from the cylinder when it's wrapped around. The thicker this is, the more it wants. So that's one of the benefits of having a relief if we can get away with it. Another thing that can be helpful is rather than cutting this at 90 degrees, cutting it at a bevel, and there are some mounters that will do, some cutters that will do that. I've found that to help significantly. I've had people tell me that where we've done that. So that's a neat trick. But now let's say we don't have that. And we're going to have just a straight end at the end there, right? We're going to introduce two concepts. One is a plate seal, and this happens to be moss type sealage. I will tell you that this is my preferred. This is awesome. Then there's aluminum tape, which is unbelievable at holding down a plate's edge. I happen to have this in my garage, but it's not the type I like to use. I think it'll do the trick, but I've, I used to buy a type from 3M that was one inch thick, and I can't remember. I'm gonna try to get my hands on it, but that's the ideal thing. But I think this will do the trick. We'll be able to at least see what it does. All right. When a lot of guys that I know that use this when they first start, one of the mistakes they make with this seal edge again, this is just this is that plate edge right, right there, that's the part we're going to lay down on the cylinder on the cylinder, say, you know, pretend that's wrapped around right at that edge 
we're going to apply a very thin, I'm going to not even call it a bead, I'll call it a film of edge sealing right at that point. And if, the, if this is where the uh, plate and the cylinder meet, now rather than applying a bead there, what we're going to apply is, like I said, a thin film. Now, when we use caulk in our bathroom and that sort of thing, and we, fill, we might fill this in, a bead like this. Because the object is we want to create a barrier against moisture in our bathroom. This is not a bathroom. And what I will say, I think, is that the only thing we are not trying to create so much a mechanical hold down mechanism with this ceiling as what we're trying to do is to form a barrier for air or moisture. As this plate lifts, something has to go under the plate. Air, solvent, oil, water, something has to go under there. Okay? Otherwise, it would be creating a vacuum. It doesn't want to do that. So if we can just keep a thin little film right there so that all we're keeping out is the moisture in the air and possibly having a little bit of a mechanical hold down effect, my experience has been that that plate holds down for a real good long time until there is penetration or you rub away the sealant or something like that. So that's going to be our objective to apply a very thin film of bead or bead of uh, a film of this sealant. But on top of that, we're going to do something else. We're going to take this aluminum foil, this aluminum tape, and we're going to put it over the plate and over the cylinder. This should be round. I know it's not well drawn out. But the beauty of the aluminum uh, tape is that it's very malleable, and we can shape it into this area here and give it a very low profile and it just wants to stay in place. It doesn't want to curl up or anything like that. So it does an excellent job for holding down plate material. So we're going to show you that too. All right, so now we're going back over to this, this place here so I can show you the, the way I apply a thin film of this stuff. <laughs> 